CSEC art exam is just around the corner and you might be tempted to bring all your art supplies in the exam room like this one here. But have no fear, I've got you covered. Arts work fly. By now you must have gotten the exam paper. This is an old one. As soon as you open the booklet, there are reminders and instructions, so ensure to read those. There are eight expressive forms such as drawing and painting and mixed media, graphics and communication design, printing, textiles and manipulation, sculpture and ceramics, leather craft and fiber and decorative arts. Each expressive form uses different tools and materials so ensure to ask your teacher for further advice. The first three expressive forms, drawing, painting and graphics for short, are what we will look at today. If you are an art teacher or student, and would like to help with the other areas, please comment down below. The expressive form drawing has four questions. Depending on the question that you have selected, the teacher or you as a student can bring the items or the person that you will be drawing. Each situation varies in different schools, parishes or even countries. After you have selected your question, your teacher will set up the still life then you will try and find an angle that is better for you to draw. It is now time to decide on the medium or media that you will use. Some drawing media are drawing pencils, crayon pencils, chalk pastel, charcoal, charcoal pencil, and pen and ink. I have DIY'd my own charcoal brushes. All I did was to replace the bristle from an old brush to a sponge. Be sure to take along with you a clear ruler. This helps you to see previous lines drawn underneath in order to compare and make accurate decisions. Remember your sharpener. The charcoal pencil sharpener has a slope. Bring your kneading eraser. If you do not have that, get yourself an eraser with sharp edges. This will help you to create sharp and clean light areas. In order to prevent your work from sponging while drawing, get a piece of paper to put underneath your hand while you draw. Comment down below some of the other ways that you can prevent your drawing from smudging. When you have completed your drawing, you will need fixative. If you do not have that, then use hairspray. By this time, you should have completed your preliminary study of your painting and mixed media piece. Bring this into the exam room along with a statement about the piece. Whatever medium or media that you use on a preliminary study, bring those to the exam room. The essential tools for painting and mixed media are paints, brushes, wipes, napkin, ruler, pencil, eraser, water container, sharpener, and a masking tape. The masking tape stretches the paper and prevents it from crinkling. If you do not have masking tape, use clear tape. Before using the clear tape, this is what you should do. Remove some of the stickiness, then put it on the paper. When removing the masking tape, ensure to pull it away from the artwork. If you don't, this can happen or the artwork can even tear. For computer aided graphic and communication design, all you will need is a computer, a keyboard, a mouse, a thumb drive and a printer. Ensure that the computer has the softwares needed. If the CSEC graphics and communication design exam art piece is going to be done by hand, then this is what you will need. Colored inks, a ruler, mechanical pencil, gelling pens, a regular pencil, and a masking tape. 
that is if you're going to do a wash of the background first or the letters then use the pencil crayons if this is so then you will need pencil crayons brushes and the paints when I was doing CSEC graphics exam I actually left my prints but luckily the art teacher went and got them printed for me so ensure that you bring your printouts and glue can't forget glue along with these tools and materials ensure to bring your timetable and the booklet with that said I wish you all a great exam blessings and love to you all thanks for watching Arts work fly. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can always know when I upload.